Be sure to follow the Grams to seek in the Twitter Mxchick IQ. <laughs> Y'all see that big one million? That's that's the first one million I've seen hit on a player. Is that the first one mil? I've never seen somebody hit one mil on a player. No, we can fight. We can fight. Let me get my stacks up. Come on, we can fight now. We can fight now. Come on, let's fight. Let's fight, bro. <laughs> come here, come here, come here. One v one, me no. <laughs> you using the ruthless? <laughs> Did you just lie to him like that? Oh, I so he's trying to sneak me. He's trying to sneak me. Help me. Never mind, I don't need help. Fuck is I talking about? Watch this. Oh my god. Sticking the fuck out of him. Bro, what the fuck did I do? What did I do? What did I do? What did I do with this build, bro? Do you see what I'm doing with this build? Oh my god. Dude, this is Hold on, let me switch. Yo, what's up guys? Magic IQ here. As you guys can see from the first few clips, I wasn't right, that good at doing this method right here. Right. But as you can see, I've definitely improved. And once you learn how to do this aiming method that I'll explain oh, in the I'm video, dead. I'm dead. I'm it dead. is a super duper oh, fun uh, and to challenging GGs. build to use, but very rewarding as you can see there. He just gets completely melted. This build is definitely viable as long as you get enough armor with it. Um, and I hope you guys enjoy the build video and actually give this a try oh, to try and, you know, I need to switch to bring some now. versatility to this game. I'm making a bunch of builds right now that I don't see often, and I oh, hope you guys give them a try oh, and share right them now. and show some love. Uh, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of the build and this last little highlight, and I'll get more gameplay for you guys in the future. Peace. Yo, what's up, guys? Magic IQ here, coming back at you guys with another build video with the Ruthless today, as you guys can see in my hands, aka the Merciless. Um, it's an explosive damage base build. It is able to one shot players easily up to three stacks and above. You can one shot players. You don't need to have full stacks, although, full stacks will do a 1 million damage, 100% instant kill. kill. Um, I've seen it do 1.2, 1.1, and like 1.09 seems to be the more consistent number. Um, but it puts anything down, and it's actually pretty tanky. I have two different chess pieces I'm experimenting with right now. And the best thing about this build is it works just as good for PvE. There's nothing you need to change except for the skills, which is you just put on like a damage seeker or a damage... Uh, Bombardier drone and that's all you got to do guys and it turns right into a PvE build just like that So let's get straight into the build video number one You're gonna need a merciless or a ruthless a ruthless is just a merciless crafted into the looks of the ruthless Which I prefer better just because I don't see it as much the second gun I have is just a gun with a rooted um, Because all skill damage and healing is increased by 25% when in cover um, But you mainly keep this gun out all the time and the tactic you're gonna use with this is when you're shooting at players uh, you want to shoot at them once and click off real quick, let the other bullet go, click on them once again, let the other bullet go, and then nail them down with the third and final, uh, I could say. Um, as you will see right here as I do, like this. Basically, in that same motion, just don't mess up as much as me. Just like that. It takes a lot of getting used to, but once you get used to it, it's actually not that bad. You know, you can do this if you want. And just pray that second shot doesn't hit. Um, I do that too, you know, kind of a pop shot method. But either way, if you hit all five shots, let's see the damage number you get on an NPC. You get 2.15 without spotter, and then once spotter is active, you can get up to, let's see, 
2.5 on a red MPC. It doesn't really matter because there's no DTE on this build. So that's your damage number that you're going to get right there. So I'm running it with Spotter. If you want to run it with Destructive, you can. It doesn't do anything different except for it actually gives it less damage, but it's more consistent damage. So it's up to you. If your group runs Pulse, you'll be able to run Pulse yourself with a Seeker. Or if you want to run Double Heals, you can just run Destructive. Or you can also run Spotter and have somebody else in your group run a Pulse. That's up to you. We have Hazard Protection to protect you from the... Chem launcher, aka foam builds, which I will be talking about in my foam build video because there is a way to counter it for everybody saying it's super cheese and unstoppable. But nah, 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 nah. Okay, uh, we got skill power on the mask, obviously, and spotter. And the mod is probably a explosive damage mod, I believe. Yes, it is. 124, 2% explosive damage, 2% headshot kill XP. 15% weapon damage on the chest piece with 15% headshot damage. Now, the funny thing about this is it doesn't matter if you hit him in the head or the body, you're going to get the same explosive number because it's explosive damage. It's not affected by headshot damage, and you'll see what I mean right here. Um, so you see the body shot is 158, and if I hit him in the head, it doesn't change at all. Still 158. You can see right there, the only shot that changes is the first shot, which doesn't really matter. And say if you miss the sec first shot like this, It'll do more damage if you hit him in the head, whereas if you were to hit him in the body, it'd only do 42. That's the only time hitting him in the head matters, but you're going for that explosive shot. You don't really care about the second bullet if your first one doesn't hit, so you mainly want to stack in the explosive damage and not really care about this. That's why I've been using this chest piece as well, which I just got. Um, it's a little bit better in that it has more armor, but I'm losing out on a lot of explosive damage. So see here, if I throw it on, for example, I got the rifle damage there. So we throw this on right here take a step over here before I think it was hitting around what 158 now it's hitting 144 and even with this it's hitting 172 when before it was hitting a little bit of a higher number I think uh, let's see it was hitting 158 before and then with spotter we were hitting around 190 so that's up to you what you guys want to do there go for more tankiness or sacrifice it for the destructive and that will be up to you guys or if you want to go up here run destructive and then harden here but I use this for occupied when I'm running with a group just because or when I'm not running with a group just because you know you need a little bit more tankiness anyway um, this chest piece has uh, two blues and a yellow mod uh, also an explosive damage mod where did you go uh, I think it's actually a Seeker mod and Pulse mod, yep, to get my uh, skills mods unlocked on my Seeker and Pulse. 3% uh, total armor and then the 5,000 with 3% total armor on it as well, where the other mod on there. Uh, Wyvern with 704 skill power and destructive. Um, it's up to you what you guys want to run with this. You can run accuracy, DNH. Um, I don't really know what would be better here, but I don't think there's any specific... Uh, piece you would want to use. I mean, maybe Gilligar just to get that more hazard protection, like I said, but, you know, that's kind of up to you, whatever you guys want to run there, um, as long as you can put Destructive on it. Overlord knee pads with Destructive. I suggest if you're running this, get yourself a pair of Gilligar knee pads like this right here, and then put Destructive on them so that you can run another two uh, armor mods, which, if I show you right now, will give you a pretty high uh, armor count and make you actually be able to you know fight those stronger builds you might have to get more stacks but you'll definitely not be a glass cannon in any sense of the word which you kinda are with 300k armor um, from experience I can guarantee that it is kind of a glass cannony build but you can get up to 377 like this but that's up to you guys on what you run or run uh, my gloves are China Lake with for the 10% explosive damage with rifle damage skill power and destructive Backpack is an Alp Summit backpack with armor and total armor, destructive, and tech support. I would love to get rid of tech support for hardened and get destructive and hardened, but I have not been so lucky as to get that. Um, but And I'd also love a higher armor roll so I can get that 20.5% total armor to be even better. Uh, I have yellow and red. I'd probably want the same thing on anything else, just, you know, higher armor. This is the 666 build. I just called it that because, you know, it's just a troll build. You know what I mean? Um, and it works really well actually though. I actually use it a lot and I love it. So it's up to you guys if you guys want to run it. It's a PvE slash PvP hybrid build, meaning it works in both areas if you want to call it a hybrid build in that sense. Um, but yeah, I hope you guys enjoy the build video, man. Um, I definitely love using this to, you know, one-shot bosses. If you put it to name bosses, you can one-shot them every time when you get the full five stacks on them. 
uh, it makes, uh, you know, NPCs not be as much of a problem, and you still be able to, you know, fight people and not just have to worry about, you know, running a PvE build and say, Occupy Dark Zone and getting shredded for when you run into players. You can just one-shot everybody like that. And then you pop a pulse with the spotter. It's a lot more helpful. This method is r actually really easy to do um, when you're hip firing, believe it or not. Oh my god, and the thing does not reset if you hit another thing after it, so it's pretty good. Uh, the bullet count does not reset if you hit another bullet after it. If you ever need to see where your bullet count is at, you'll see that little thing above their head, and you'll see that uh, number go up next to your gun. Alright guys, uh, with this I run a Seeker Heal with two healing mods and skill power. I'm missing some kind of mod somewhere, that's why it's not active right now. Um, but pulse and skill haste on this one. Alright guys, hope you guys enjoyed. This has been Magic IQ and I'm out. Peace.